Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Daily English Homework. Uh, this is a very special listening today because we are going to listen to RM, Rap Monster, who is the leader of the world famous Korean group BTS. Uh, he made a speech at the UN a few years ago talking about uh, equality for young people. And we, we got a chance to listen to his English in, in kind of professional setting. And wow, it is amazing. Uh, and we're, I'm gonna listen, we're gonna listen to him and I'm gonna point out a few mistakes, but you know, who am I to judge him? He is, he is uh, better, he's more successful than me in almost every way. Uh, but uh, I'm still gonna pick on him a little. There's a, whoever you are in the world, there's always room for improvement. Now, what's your homework? Well, your homework is to listen to him. And uh, I, I want you to tell me in the comments below, you know, what do you think of his English? Is he easy? Is it, you know, is his pronunciation, his accent, is, is that easy for you to understand? Let me know in the comments below. Let's listen to RM. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, UNICEF Executive Director, and all the excellencies and distinguished guests from all across the world. All right, so we can see he's reading from a speech uh, he prepared, and probably he practiced this a lot, right? So uh, uh, same with politicians, uh, they, practices, they practice their speech a lot. So uh, we don't necessarily hear 100% accurate uh, you know exactly how they speak English because he did practice this, but it's still excellent. Uh, we did earlier Putin. He practiced, but still that was not not so good. But uh, BTS uh, Kim Namjoon, wow. Now I'm gonna pick on him a little bit, so don't get angry. Uh, the beginning here. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, UNICEF Executive Director. He's blending a little too much here. He says, Unis, he's, you know, in English we say UNICEF, <laughs> but he, he kind of says UNICEF, ex, Unis, he's blending UNICEF and executive, and I think he loses that F sound. Do you hear UNICEF? General, UNICEF Executive Director. Mr. Secretary General, UNICEF Executive Director. It can be there is a little reduced, but I knew I do know Koreans uh, do have problems pronouncing the F sound. I'm not complaining on him. He did a great job, but uh, that could be part of, you know, his pronunciation. So UNICEF executive director. Uh, he did study in New Zealand, but I do not hear any New Zealand accent. I'll tell you that. And all the excellencies and distinguished guests from across the world. My name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM, the leader of the group BTS. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. Last November, BTS launched the Love My Samph campaign with you. Mm, okay, he had a little problem. If you're a BTS fan, and you, uh, this is not attacking him. Now, I want you to focus. He says, last November, BTS launched launched is the word and it's difficult if it's it's a difficult word to pronounce because uh, the spelling it is a u that's a launch and c h ch, launched and then the e d launched will have end with a t sound launched launched it's very difficult to pronounce let's hear how he pronounced it last november bts launched the lump my all right, he, see, uh, he seems to have a little problem pronouncing the ED. So he's, he, he sees launched, but like many uh, people, he's, he might be trying to say launched, launched. He wants to pronounce that ED as ed. ED has uh, at the end as many, uh, it can have the D sound, D, T, and it could have also the ED sound, but he, I think, is mis this is a definite mispronunciation of launched. Last November, BTS launched the Love My Samph campaign with UNICEF, building on our belief that 
True love first begins with loving myself. We've been partnering with UNICEF's End Violence Program to protect children and young people all over the world from All right, all this is perfect. ...violence. And our fans have become a major part of this campaign with their action and with their enthusiasm. All right, enthusiasm. That's a good, that's a difficult word to get through. Enthusiasm. He got through it perfectly. We truly have the best fans in the world. The BTS is very, very loyal fans. And I'd like to begin by talking about myself. So his his pronunciation or his accent is not not even close to New Zealand. Uh, if he did, in fact, learn English from watching a lot of Friends episodes, as he says, uh, uh, he said, yeah, he watched he used to watch Friends as a uh, first time Korean with English subtitles, second time English with Korean subtitles, and the third time all English. If he did that and he watched a lot of Friends episodes. Yeah, he would pick up the accent, the mannerism, the slang, and it seems like, yes, he's talking more American. Let's continue. I was born in Isan, a city near Seoul, South Korea. It is a really beautiful place with a lake, hills, and even an annual flower festival. All right, he's talking about the city of Ilsan, yeah, near Seoul. It has a big lake, uh, hills, not so much. But yeah, flat flower. Fl I can't, you see, he speaks better than me. A flower festival. Fl hey, you guys try that. Flower festival. Flower festival. Say that five times. I spent a very happy childhood there, and I was just an ordinary boy. An ordinary boy. boy. Yeah, I cannot judge him. I cannot judge him. An ordinary boy. So he's blending that very well. An ordinary boy, an ordinary boy, an ordinary boy, a boy. I used to look up at the night sky and wonder, and I used to dream the dreams of a boy. I used to imagine that I was a superhero who could save the world. And in an intro to one of our early albums, there is a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or ten. No problems. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. All right, so jam myself, what do you say? Jam myself into the molds other people made. Uh, that's not really formal speech. And I wonder if he did write the speech. Uh, it seems like he wrote this speech because uh, that is kind of a younger person expression, jam myself. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop here. Uh, we just had a, a quick uh, listen to RM, Rap Monster for BTS. You can find this speech on the UNICEF uh, YouTube channel page where I found it here. If you want to watch it all, it's 6 minutes 30 seconds. Uh, in conclusion, RM, uh, his English is excellent. And it is remarkable that, uh, you know, not only is he successful with music, but he is very successful in learning English and becoming fluent in English. And... Uh, you know, we should praise him for his hard work. Uh, I, I'm an English teacher. When I hear him speak English, I'm like, wow, how did he learn that? And the, the, from the information I got, he did it himself. Um, so good for him. And, you know, we also learned that perhaps he speaks English better than me. <laughs> that might be the case because uh, he speaks English so well few pronunciation problems but he's fluent he's fluent as far as i know all right thanks for watching you let me know about rm uh what you thought of his english or bts in the comments below thanks for watching everyone take care